Hello student, welcome to my class of computer subject for class 10th. Let's start what and use the image document. In this topic, we'll learn how to insert an image to the document from various resources. Resources are various resources are there. Then modify and resize, crop and delete and images. So how to delete and modify and crop that. Okay, then create a drawing object. How to create a drawing object, line, line, star, rectangle, triangle, etc. And set or change the property of a drawing object. Okay then resize and group object and at last you will learn positioning the image on the text also so let's begin student so first of all i will open the open office 4.1.7 it will again ask you uh, in which you are going to do the work so first of all we have to select a text document okay so text document double click on it and it will open then after that you can see this simple interface is here so first of all we are going to insert an image so you have to just click on insert option and then you have to just click on the picture okay student so from file and scan there are two options are available well here so we are not having a scanner if you are having a scanner you can use this option also okay so we are going to use from file option so when you are clicking on from file option it will open the gallery okay so you have to just go to the picture option okay student and inside picture option you need to just select one of the picture that you like okay for example if i am just selecting this one thing so now you can see a picture has come so student along with this picture, uh, inserting picture you can see this particular picture bar has come by that everything is possible that is available in this option so you can see this these two particular uh, i'm say green buttons are there by that you can resize it also so student we have to see what we have to do first first one thing inserting image from the various resources so student we have learned how to insert the image from the various resources normally you have used a gallery okay and now use modify crop and delete this one thing so what we have to do so you can see student if you want to change the picture you have to just click on this particular option from file again and then you can select another picture also okay so you can see if i just click in on it the picture will change so i'm going to again do the same changes in the particular images okay so select it and open it okay now you can see the effect okay so first of all we have to understand how to crop it so right click on it and then you can see click on picture the window will appear there's a picture dialog box will appear so here type option wrap hyperlink everything possible here so we are going to learn what is the first crop so there are two methods to crop it that is keep scale and keep image size so there are two type of keep scale suppose that if i want to cut this, this particular 50 percent of that so i will uh, keep the scale option and then here i will type 10 centimeter and then okay okay now you can see that the particular scale has remained same okay but whatever the content is i'm saying image is 50 percent cutted okay so i am going to undo it by pressing ctrl z and now I'll come back to the picture again right click picture again so now you can click on keep image size it means to say size will be same but crop size will be stretched according to that one thing so same thing i will do here so i will do here 10 centimeter so now you can see the image is stressed and same size regard the student now i'm going to undo it okay and now we can come to the picture bar okay student so we have learned how to uh, crop this one thing okay and now how to uh, do the effects on this so here is like a uh, invert that is a negative color will come okay so if you click again, again so it will come back to its original condition now we can smooth so you can see slightly smooth happens so student what i will do to uh, do this one thing i will insert an a uh, different image okay so till then i will do one thing so you can see here is gallery okay inside gallery i will insert this type of image which type of image hmm. this image okay student so right click on it then insert and copy so now you can see this has come so one now what i will do so i will show you the effect on this so you can see smooth effect now slightly smooth has done effect done if you click it again it will revert i mean it's original format sharpness so you can see edges are sharp okay and now you can see this one option uh, remove noise so remove noise means it will create a this one pixel 
okay and say sharpness in pixel also and this many thing that is solarization so you can see 50 percent solarization okay so you can see color has imp uh, changes now i'm going to click it again so it will revert again now it's a different thing 10 angle degree so you can see black and white color okay so i am doing one thing i will do it in an undo format okay and now you can see charcoal scale so it will in a convert in charcoal scale okay so click it again to make it charcoal again so you can see if you are going to click it again and again charcoal effect will come so press ctrl z to make it original format and then relief so you can see that it will convert in a relief format so undo it and a mosaic effect mosaic effect means pixel basis so it will in a convert in mosaic effect so i am going to undo it so student you have learned what are the different effect of the images now we can come to the its a colors layout default with original color gray scale color okay or black and white color okay or watermark color okay so we are keeping its original format so default and now you can see that color also so you can change the color according to percentage also whatever the color it will say okay now you can see i'm i have changed the color okay or i can do that normal changes here okay so here it will be also zero now this is transparency students so you can use a transparency according to you okay so you suppose that if i'll paste a 50 so transparency is increased 60 transparency is different one thing so what you have to do student we have to do one thing we have to insert another image so go to insert and uh, picture from file and you can select one of the picture that you like okay it will come after a few seconds now you can see the transparency of that so here 50 percent so you can see 50 if we are going to percent 80 percent so 80 percent so as per according to that you can modify the transparency also okay student now it's a vertically flip okay like this you can change this one thing horizontally flip okay so you can change its flipping option also it will convert i am say flip the image also in a mirror phase or vertical or diagonal that is diagonal also okay now we have understand in this particular topic how to modify resize crop and delete an image so, so student how to delete that it is it's quite easy so student so you have to select and press the delete button you can delete it also okay student now we are going to understand next exercise for that creating a drawing object so student uh, we can create a drawing drawing object okay how look at here uh, if you don't see the that toolbar you have to go to uh, view option and then after that toolbar and click on drawing option so you can see drawing tool has come by that you can draw the line also first of all i will resize it by this option okay so now we have to draw the line also so you can see i have to draw the line okay so as you will draw the content i'm say uh, shape the option will appear here the thickness which type of line you can see thickness how many centimeters suppose that 10 centimeter okay one, this one thing one centimeter or zero that is 0.5 centimeter you can say that okay so here centimeter color you can change the color of that line also okay student and then after that uh, different color gray scale this one thing okay and uh, pattern or texture okay so you can change the texture also so you can change the texture also shadow gradient color that you like so everything will come okay student now you can move it also like this one okay and now this one option i will increase the thickness of this also one centimeter so now you student you can see this line has come 
over that particular image so this will tells you bring to front it is origin uh, by default bring to back so you can see the image okay overlap the particular line so you can use the bring front or bring background also okay student now you can image draw the image like rectangle you can change the color of that also like this one color you can use uh, this one thing uh, color different color also okay black color okay understand student now you can use this particular uh, shadow also so whatever shadow black blue you shadow and then you can click one of the shadow that you like okay and then okay now you can say shadow has come so lot of option are there in a shape okay now we are going to understand okay we have understand what are the how to drawing object set the change property of drawing object okay student so what are the property of that one thing so property here uh, this one thing line type okay size line width color that is black blue whatever okay this one color gradient color okay or bitmap color okay student and here uh, water color okay this one thing is affect leave okay student and bring to front suppose that if i'll superlap this one thing so it is in front so over there so you can see this has changes okay now we are going to resizing cropping drawing object yes student it is easy it how to resizing cropping this one thing same thing you have to do resize it okay and right click on it and then crop option okay so now you can uh, do this one also okay how to crop it so i have teach you in this particular image okay now you can type the text here also in a particular this one thing so i will do one thing i will click make it marvel double click on it this is text okay so you can see i have inserted the text on this particular image i am say shape so now the last one thing on the practical today position the image with a text within text okay so suppose that if i am going to write a text here here is a text for image let me see image position so i am copying it again and again to make the effect so student this is actually text okay student so what i am going to do whatever the image whatever the graphical in, uh, content like image shape whatever okay we can do the following operation with that so here you can see that if i'll just click on this image okay student so i will make this one thing down so suppose that this is image okay so now you can see that if i am going to uh, keep this particular image between this text either the text are upside or downward okay it is not come right and left side so what i will do student i will do one thing i will uh, say it is a wrap, wrap up option okay student wrap up option it mean to say it will not tie with the text properly so to do that you have to just click on this one page wrap so by this we can see that uh, text are coming left or right also can you see that student if i'll click on this wrap through so image will be come over that particular text okay understand so right click on it okay so you can see the wrap option so you can see the wrap option through here also okay in background you can see the image has come in background okay also and uh, you can stress this also okay so student you have learned i hope today you have learned how to insert the image how to to the changes in their properties okay so you can see uh, watermark so it will looks like watermark but transparency is too slow and still uh, less so you can do this one also can you see student so today we have learned how to insert image okay how to insert drawing shapes how to modify image crop that okay and how to resize the group okay so last thing we are doing the practice with the grouping okay suppose that i have number of the images i am to say shapes are there suppose that i am going to draw this oval 
okay uh, this particular rectangle this particular diamond basic shape uh, diamond okay if i'm going to select one of them other one is going to be deselect okay to do that i have to just press one okay then after that select it to do that you have to just come to the image and just draw this particular drag this one thing under box and then press word thing right click on it group and then group that okay now you can see student if i can move all our objects are moving together this is known as grouping if i'm going to uh, decrease the scale of that it will automatically resizing it can you see that understand student 